From the Redwood News, could you please explain why you disagree with the state's methodology to move Humboldt County back to the red tier? Sure. L let me talk about the different ways that we look at data. Um, the state, the CDPH, has a methodology that looks at the data with a seven-day lag um, plus two more days because it takes them that long to get the data. So we're really looking at da data that's nine days old. Here in Humboldt County, we get the data directly uh, on a nearly daily basis. Um, so we're looking at the data in real time. Um, and uh, to give you an example, currently our case count is about 100 over what they have at the state. From the Lost Coast Outpost, if the county doesn't agree with the state's decision to put us in the red tier, the health officer has the authority to keep higher purple tier restrictions in place with a local order. Why don't you do that? So this is a balancing act that many health officials and health officers have had to walk this very fine line throughout the course of this pandemic. Um, a health order is one tool in the toolbox, uh, and it's, it's not a uh, delicate one, it's a very strong one, and it's one that um, there isn't much enthusiasm for right now in our community. Uh, we need buy-in uh, if anything's going to change. So regardless of the tier that we're in, um, there are things that we can do to keep our community safe. Um, businesses that can open may choose not to, and they may choose to protect their customers and their staff, uh, given the uncertainty around all this, um, and given the uncertainty that we could return to purple tier or regional stay-at-home orders. Um, people may choose to gather, uh, but they may choose to keep their household safe by not gathering. And churches may decide not to reopen indoor services. Um, we at Public Health have never seen the numbers look worse. And um, what we're hearing from a lot of the people in the community is that they understand this and they continue to uh, uh, act as if we're in the purple tier while we're in the red tier. Thank you. From the red-headed black belt, with Humboldt being in the less restrictive red tier, is there a travel restriction in place between counties which might inhibit non-essential travel and prevent people in other areas of the state from taking a winter break trip to the only county in the state with open restaurants and other venues available to the public. Uh, so red versus purple tier does not affect the travel uh, restrictions. Um, there is a statewide travel advisory um, that none of us should be traveling uh, outside of our home area. And that applies to all of California. Um, and then for the rest of California, outside of Northern California, there is a regional stay-at-home order which says you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't travel ex out of your home except for essential work or essential um, needs in the community. So uh, currently in Northern California, if, if you were to travel, it's recommended you stay in your county um, or that you drive no more than two to three hours from your home and that, that that should really be for essential travel or, you know, getting outdoors, uh, going on hikes, going to the beaches, those sorts of things are still highly encouraged because we want to stay healthy and active during this time. From the Red-Headed Black Belt, as for the potential of seeing outside visitors coming to Humboldt in light of these new adjustments to the tier status, do you have a concern about Airbnb rentals continuing to operate locally in regard to visitors during the New Year holiday weekend. What oversight, if any, is there on travel into the county for recreational purposes and vacationing? So as I mentioned previously, uh, statewide county uh, travel advisory, any region that's in a regional stay at home order is in a um, part of that order is to stay at home and not travel away from your home. And uh, you know, really there's jurisdictional oversight in each of the jurisdictions that, that would um, be in charge of any enforcement of those orders. Thank you. From the red-headed black belt, what advice would you give to restaurant owners who are questioning the reopening allowance and if it is worthwhile to reopen if only to be shut down again in the next few days, considering that planning for food prep, storage, staffing, deliveries, etc., is costly and time-consuming? I would strongly caution anyone with a restaurant right now who is planning to, to reopen 
um, that they should be concerned that this could be reversed. Um, as I've mentioned, we could, you know, uh, trigger regional stay-at-home orders very easily, and that goes into effect immediately. Um, in addition, if our numbers uh, go up instead of going down, um, the red tier can certainly be turned back into the purple tier, which would limit uh, indoor dining. Thank you. From the Times Standard, Dr. Hoffman on Tuesday expressed strong disagreement with the state's decision to move Humboldt County from the purple widespread COVID risk tier to the less restrictive red substantial tier. Is the county moving to tier adjudication? Um, there is no process for tier adjudication in that direction. The tier adjudication process is for moving to more restrictive tiers. Thank you. From KMUD News, now that Humboldt is in the red tier, what can be allowed for indoor shopping and indoor dining? So all this can be found on the Blueprint for Safer Economy website. If you have any more questions, definitely check that out. Um, but indoor uh, retail goes to 50%. Indoor dining uh, is allowed at 25% in the red tier. Also from KMUD News, do you predict Humboldt will move back into the purple tier? What would trigger redesignation? Uh, very difficult to say uh, for sure. Uh, again, all along the numbers have looked like they have not been going down locally, so we are concerned about that. Um, the thing that would trigger going back into the purple tier would be the state's numbers um, going up 15% uh, over the next few weeks, and uh, I do think that's likely. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.